Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer for November 4th. Today is Monday and we are celebrating the memorial for St. Charles Borromeo, a bishop of our church. Let's have that moment of silence to prepare us for a prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts. My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my soul bring out their joy to God, the living God. The sparrow herself finds a home, and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young by your altars, Lord of hosts, my King and my God. They are happy who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. They are happy whose strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roads to Zion. As they go through the bitter valley, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rain covers it with the blessings. They walk with every growing strength. They will see the God of gods in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Turn your eyes, O God. Our shield, look on the face of your anointed. One day within your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. The threshold of the house of God, I prepare to the dwelling of the wicked. For the Lord God is a rampart, a shield. He will give us his favor and glory. The Lord will not refuse any good to those who walk without blame. Lord God of hosts, happy the man who trusts in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. Come, let us climb the mountain of the Lord. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest mountain and raised above the hills. All nations shall stream toward it. Many peoples shall come and say, Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways 
and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and impose terms on many peoples. They shall get their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation shall not raise the sword against another, nor shall they train for war again. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us climb the mountain of the Lord. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. O oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. O oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. The Lord is great and worthy of praise to be feared above all gods. The God of the heavens are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens. He is our majesty and state and power and splendor in his holy place. Give the Lord new families of peoples. Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in his temple. O earth, tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations God is king. The world has made film in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy. At the presence of the Lord, for he comes. He comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the people with his truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sing to the Lord, and bless his name. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Hebrews. Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider how their lives ended and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teaching. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Feliz Lunes. Happy Monday, brothers and sisters. A couple of days ago, we celebrate All Saints Day. Those many women who sacrificed their lives for the benefits of the church and all of us. Let's remember then who spoke the word to God to us. Consider how their life ended and imitate their faith. Today, the church is celebrating the memorial of St. Charles Baromeo, a rich young man who heard the call of God and answered it, and he was ordained a priest at the age of 25. A few months later, he was consecrated Bishop of Milan. 
He certified world high honors, esteem and influence to become poor. They say that he borrowed large sums of money to try to feed around 60,000 to 70,000 people daily during the plague and famine of 1576. So brothers and sisters, I encourage you, me, and all of us to follow these full steps of St. Charles. They obviously, when he renounced all his money, all his wealth, just to follow Jesus and be a good example of how we need to become a true followers of the Lord. St. Charles Barumeo, pray for us. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. On your walls, walls Jerusalem, Jerusalem, I have set, set my watchmen to guard you. Day or night, they will not cease to proclaim the name of the Lord. I have set my watchmen to guard you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. On the walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was his oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Christ is the good shepherd who laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise and thank him as we pray. Nourish your people, Lord. Christ, you decided to show your merciful love through your holy shepherds. Let and your mercy always reach us through them. Through your vicars, you continue to perform the ministry of shepherd of souls. Direct us always through our leaders. Through your holy ones, the leaders of your people, you serve as physician of our bodies and our spirits. Continue to fulfill your ministry of life and holiness in us. You taught your flock through the prudence and love of your saints. Grant us continual growth in holiness under the direction of our pastors. Let us pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ.
Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. Nourish your people, Lord. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen let us pray father keep in your people the spirit which filled charles borromeo let your church be continually renewed and show the image of Christ in the world by being conformed to his likeness who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit God forever and ever Amen, Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit Lord Mary God bless you the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen, Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.